today I'm going to build a knife. We'll start with a blank object, so let's uh, select everything by pressing A and press X to delete. And press K, turn off guides, and I'll turn on smart join and add or union. And also click add blank object. Let's name it knife. Press OK and OK again. Draw a knife profile. Switch to grease pencil scalp mode. Select smooth tool. Let's smooth the blade a little. Let's take out some of these kinks. Let's go back to draw mode again and press K. And uh, I'm also going to switch to user perspective and expand the menu. Click on symmetry. What this will do is extrude the object equally in both directions. This doesn't have enough definition, so let's reduce the simplification a little. I'll also reduce the extrusion because this is the metal bit, the blade of the knife, and it needs to be fairly thin. 0 0.01 is about right. Press K to set it. Next, I want to create the sharp edge of the knife. Select the Arc tool and let's draw something like this. Press Enter, press K again. And this time I'm going to turn on Knife. And also I'm going to turn off Loop. I just want this edge. Now press K again, press Alt V to switch to Object Mode and select the blade. And press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Select all these faces up to here. And next we need to scale these down. Press S and Y to constrain it on Y axis and type zero and switch to vertex mode. And while the points are still selected, we need to merge these because these points are actually doubled up right now. Select mesh, clean up and merge by distance. We have some shading problems here because of this huge big end gone we just created. So let's create some extra edges. Let's select this vertex. Shift select the other one and then Shift F. Let's turn on X ray and do the same on the other side. Press Tab again to go back to object mode. So this is the blade, and now let's create the handle. Select the object, press K again draw the handle, something that looks like a handle. This has turned out a bit wobbly, so let's go and do the same thing we did earlier. Massage the lines into place. And let's create a little roundness there. And also let's smooth this out a bit. And this is why I like pencil. Let's go back to draw mode, press K, and let's choose even spacing. And also let's add a subdivision extrusion and turn on fill faces and increase the value to one. So we have something like this. Let's try a bevel, turn on subdivision surfaces. Too many subdivision words, isn't it? And let's increase this to one. Let's turn on smoothing and add a little 3D smoothing. This will give us that nice round-ish feel. Uh, adjust this value to your liking. Maybe a little more extrusion. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of grip there. I'm also going to turn on self-trim. And now we are actually carving the handle with the blade itself. And it'll give us a nice beveled edge here. And let's also turn on the smooth shading. Okay, I think this looks nice. Let's press K to set it, Alt V to switch to object mode, select the mesh object, and under materials tab, let's select the second material which belongs to the handle, and make this uh, maybe some dark brownish color, something like this. And this green material belongs to the blade itself, and let's adjust that to maybe some bluish color something that looks a bit more metallic. You can, of course, adjust these materials later properly. And here's our knife. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.